Hello there and welcome to part 7 of this tutorial series and apologies for the delay or the gap between the previous video and this one. I had some issues with the microphone and I had to adjust a lot of the settings and of course I discovered so many ways to make it worse. I hope this is acceptable, if not please let me know in the comments and if you have any advice please also share that as well. So. Moving on in this tutorial, what we're going to do is of course create tweets that are live. So we're going to import a few stuff and then create a few classes that would allow us to do that. It's not uh, that complex, probably it would take about 8 to 10 minutes to, to complete this tutorial. Um, and I'll share all the things that I've noticed and also some ideas on what you can use um, as an example. So from streaming, we're going to import stream listener. And I know that normally we import this at the top and this would be also the case for this But I want to just make sure that we have all the code at one part and then later on I'll move these import statements uh, at the top Then from TweePy we're going to import stream And lastly we're going to import JSON that would allow us to extract the tweet ID in a bit of a simple way The class listener would be the first class that we're going to create and it would inherit everything from the stream listener class that we have imported, except we're going to define what would happen related to the data. So self data and def we're going to define on error on what would happen when we get a certain status that we've encountered an error. In this case, I would like to just print the status that should be sufficient, uh, especially in the testing phase. You do want to have that um, message at least there. If of course you get there um, and then here we would have a try and accept that would try to do something with the data and that's something that we will work on so of course before you start this you need to have a certain objective in mind what is it that you want to do with the live tweets of course one idea is you can perform sentiment analysis so at the moment as i'm recording this there is a football match between Manchester City and PSG so one idea is to take a look at the tweets analyze the sentiment and see how that changes when one team scores a goal um, on the other side if you want to just have the tweets and analyze later you can extract the tweet IDs into a, a list extract that uh, list and save it as a, as a CSV file and then later on you can always refer back to the tweets because once you have the tweet IDs you can do anything including interacting so if you want to interact like or favorite or retweet well you know already how to do that as those functions are already in place what i will do is i will try to uh, have a streamer so all the all the tweets that are coming in i would like them to be printed uh, as part of the python console so let's start and let's see how far we get data equals json dot loads data this is the first step and it kind of converts this giant string into a dictionary that's a bit easier easy access easy and accessible tweet id is equal data id and i mean after this point there's a lot of things that you can do that you already know and i'll just show as i mentioned one related to the text tweet equals api.get status id equals tweet id and then tweet mode equals extended so i would like to get the full text however we already know that that's not possible if a tweet is a retweet as it only gets the first 140 characters so we need to make a small adjustment for that so if tweet dot full text dot starts with rt and then add so if it starts with retweet if it's a retweet we need to at this point decide what we want to do and there are some cases when you would like to just ignore this at all so you would just have a pass and not do anything which is fine but there are some cases where you would like to actually treat this as an original tweet because if you're focusing on sentiment analysis basically everyone that's retweeting the status although it's not an original tweet feels the same way so it has the same sentiment towards a certain topic and if that's the case then you would like to get of course the text which would be equal to tweet dot retweeted status dot full text so you're getting the original status that has been retweeted and then let's print this text now we have if statement so we know what would happen if we encounter a retweet if it's not a retweet then print tweet 
tweet.fulltext. So we have covered both scenarios and if something goes wrong, I just print something went wrong. And which means if you get this, you need to take a look into um, probably this part up here because there, this if and else statement should be fine, but probably this is the part that can go wrong. But again, if you encounter that, go back and take a look at why, why that happens. So this is the first class, listener class. The next one would be streaming. And this is, of course, equally important as we need to have that one as well. We're going to define in it. It would take self, AUTH and listener. And this is actually the part that allows us to, to, to use the credentials to stream this as well. So self.stream is equal to tweepy.stream. So this is what we've imported. AUTH equals AUTH and listener equals listener. And then we need to define start. And in order to start, of course, we need a certain keywords list. Um, it, of course, you can also have one uh, keyword that you want to track. That's also fine. So we can have a keyword a list and then you can have one or more than one element. And here we would have self.start.filter. We're going to track the keywords list. And we are probably like 80% done with, with writing the code. The last part that we need to do is just define start streaming, which would take this keywords list. If name equals equals main, then listener would be equal to listener. So this is the first class that we've created. Stream would be equal to streaming. And we need to provide AU the agent listener. So this is the second class that we created and then stream dot start keywords list. And if we have everything written correctly and there is no typo, then this should be enough to start streaming a certain list. So I'll try to stream Manchester and see if we get some tweets related to the football match. Um, so dot okay, so we have Cell.start. Cell.stream. This should be stream. So not start. Define start is actually to stream. And let's see if this is good. Alright, so that looks actually much better. We have the tweets. And of course, later on, once you have the text, you might want to adjust for the language. So only take uh, the tweets in English or only take the tweets in um, in Spanish or, or in French. So you can of course decide that. But this is all for this tutorial. And of course, if you have any questions or comments or advice, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for following until the very end and I'll see you in the next video.